Google Dorking or Google Hacking is a computer hacking technique that uses Google Search and other Google applications to find security holes in the configuration of any computer node, website, etc. You will actually use the advanced search operators offered by Google in order to locate specific logic such as string text within a result. So let's go directly to the examples. Google offers enhanced or advanced search operators such as in URL, in text, site, etc. So let's jump directly to the example to know what I'm talking about. So suppose that you want to search for a confidential document on the internet under a governmental website, for example. So here you have to know the parameters that you want to search, you want to search for governmental site and confidential document and the type of the document. So we start this way. Site is the parameter or search operator that defines what kind of site we're looking in. So here we're looking for under a governmental site. File type, we're looking for suppose PDF file. And here you name the string that you want to search for. This document is confidential. So let's see what we'll have. We've got some PDF files here. Let's look into, into them. Let's just open these files here and search for the word confidential. Confirm there is no confidential here. This looks like confidential, huh? Confidential, this document is confidential, not for public inspection. So here you go, you find one confidential document. Confidential as well. So this is just a basic way to search for confidential documents and this is if you're targeting someone in mind, you need to dig more and do, do more research. But as you can see, it's, it's very easy to find this, this information here. Suppose now you want to find password, for example. Usually files or log files contain a string called your password is, okay? So I want to search for the string, your password is, in a file type, which is a log file. And this will return actually a couple of log files. You just can open and look into them. Let's search for password. So password s double s. So invalid password, invalid password. So let's see your password is. Uh, this is a no-go file. Let's search for another file. So here we go. Your username is, your password is. This is just an example and see this file. Looks like a configuration file, so it's, it's a no-go as well. So as you can see, we found that, for example, this username and password, and you can take it further. Suppose that you want to search for usually the servers are published on the internet for example and some ip cameras are published so let's go for the print server as well the the parameter called in title it will search in the title of the page and the parameter in url will search for the url of the page only so in title let's say network print server and file type is shtm you will be able to see a couple of results just open that and you have access to this was the yeah exactly these these two pages here print servers published online another example if you want to find the a page with grades for example Final grades. You can search, you can use this in URL final grades and the site is educational site we're looking at. Reporting final grades. Let's try this again here. Final underscore grades maybe. Yeah. Final grades, final grades, final grades dot PDF. So here we go. A list of final grades plus IDs. Final grades as well, final grades as well. So as you can see, you can tailor the, the search in ways you want using the advanced operators 
again in url in text file type site there are lots of lots more you can use but these are the basic ones i'll tell you another good thing so instead of like keeping those in mind what you i want to do in uh, terms of searching and crafting some google docs url you can go to the exploit db website and go to this link here google hacking database and you will see all of these here you just need to search for the category here we go let's take an example for example uh vulnerable files let's see this or maybe files containing passwords so these are some of the examples here so you just click on them it will open the page with the detailed url that you need to type in google so just press on that it will return the results and you can take it further from here by clicking on the result so actually this is the way it goes you have a list of exploits here you can use in google search to run the attack that you want and this is just the beginning if you master google search and google advanced operators you can have access to anything published online such as firewalls, intrusion detec detection systems, video recording systems, UPS monitors, even building management systems, IP telephones, and even credit card information and CVV information.